Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, with the Wondering Hearts, thank you so much for sticking around. I know we're a little bit later than uh, anticipated, so uh, thank you very much. Hope you're having a lovely lunch break. Um, boring story for you, my parents met here. <laughs> thank you. So, uh, yeah, in about 30 years' time, you could have one of me if you're in a, a relationship. <laughs> Anyway, this next song is called It's Not About University Love. It's about burning bridges. Lost in the fire that's no longer my story repeated again. Will we come through? Who's telling the truth? When did we lose our way? I know you feel like you're the last one standing. You can't see, but if you put your hand in mine, it'll be all right. So bittersweet, life set you free, lost my berry. The turning of tides, wash time aside, the fear subsides in my head. Must I pretend that we can depend on the singular heartbeat of one. I know you feel like you're the last one standing. You can't see, but if you put your hand in mine, it'll be all right. Thank you. Thanks. Hello and welcome to this week's Coffee House Sessions. I'm here with two of the Wandering Hearts. If you'd like to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Tara. Hi, I'm Chess. So, first of all, you guys were absolutely amazing. The whole team were just totally blown away by how good you were. Oh, it's my personal favourite so far of like the whole tour, including last year as well. Oh, so it's absolutely great. How are you guys finding this, the Coffee House Session so far? 
we're having a great time. It's um, it's just been wonderful to get our music out there and meet kind of young people who are engaging with the music. It's yeah, been... definitely. And it's, a, it's that whole thing. Social media is so powerful these days that it's been it's a really great um, kind of basis to get a good fan base um, and just get to as many people as possible. So it's great. We feel very lucky to be to mm. be on it. Uh, how did you guys meet as a band? Well, so Tim and I met at a gig um, a couple years ago. We were both playing, but separately, and we just got on really well and really kind of bonded over lots of music that we had similar interests in. And um, we decided we'd try and do some music together, but we missed the harmonies. And um, so we were put in touch with Chess and AJ through some mutual friends. And from the first rehearsal, it just magically clicked. Worked. And um, and we haven't looked back. (laughs) So your demo was picked up within 30 minutes of you uploading it. How fast have things progressed since then? Pretty much at the same speed. Like it's been <laughs> like full speed ahead since then. We were very quickly introduced to Deck of our record label. Um, and then it all kind of just fell into place from there. And we've just been, you know, we've just finished recording our um, debut album. So we've been doing that. We played all the festivals this summer. And so, yeah, so it's just been like, it has been full speed ahead since what was a year ago. Just that we just, just signed. that we signed. Yeah. So yeah, really quick. Yeah. Really well. quick. <laughs> What have you got planned sort of the next year or so? So we've got, it's all kind of gearing up for album release. So we've got the single, the next single coming out in a couple of weeks and then the albums in the new year, which is so exciting for us because yeah. we've been, you know, gigging so much and everyone's been like, you've only got two songs out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it'll all be album, little tour after the album, yeah. a little trip to Nashville. Very nice. So we're excited about that. And uh, yeah, I think festivals and just getting music out there. Yeah, just touring. We'll probably just tour as much as we can. Just yeah. get out there. Yeah. What's your highlight been, like personal highlight of being part of The Wandering Hearts? I think I can speak for both of yeah. us. Uh, when, uh, when I say, and, and for the boys too, we got to play on the same bill as Tom Petty and Stevie Nicks in Hyde Park um, for British Summertime. And it was the last date that uh, Tom Petty played, last European date that he played. And so to get to kind of see Stevie Nicks and Tom Petty and the Lumineers, and yeah. let alone be on the same bill, was like a crazy... Is this real? It was a crazy day. It was a crazy day. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So one thing I've been asking everyone who's come through is about the Coffee House's new slogan, which is set music free. Mm -hmm. Um, So there's always a bit of controversy with artists being able to pay for free and in exchange for exposure, you kind of feel like you're getting a bomb deal. How do you guys feel about sort of putting your music out there with no payment? I think it's one of those things that, you know, you as musicians, you risk a lot. And you pet, you know, you work and you work and you work, and there's no guarantee you're going to make any money from it at the end of the day, you know. So, like the platforms, like I mean, SoundCloud is a free music platform, and that's where that's how we got to where we are today because we put our first demo on SoundCloud. So, you know, there's amazing platforms that I think are great for lots of reasons. Obviously, there are there is controversy with it, but I think as as a platform for, for new artists, like everyone's just always looking for new music and everyone's always looking for the next thing. And so I think as much as you can, like I just I, I think it's great. I think there's you know, hopefully one day we might make some money. But if we don't, then we've had a great time while we've done it. So you know, yeah, you only I, live once. I think I'd like to see it. I, I think I'd like to see it change in terms of like so many. We're so lucky to be in this position and be signed. And so many of my friends are incredible. Are so brilliant songwriters, brilliant musicians, and. They, you know, they get asked to go across the country to play for a couple of beers, and it's like, it, it would love, it'd lovely to see people be remunerated mm. for working really hard. You know, the hours, the money spent on guitar lessons, piano lessons, going to gigs, doing stuff. So it'd be lovely to see people recognise the skills involved in being yeah. a musician. Um, you know, none of us do it for the money. If we, if we were into that, we'd be doctors or, or something <laughs> else entirely. But um, so yeah, I, that's that would be my my other yeah. point to that. I think. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming along today. I really enjoyed watching you. you. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks for having us. Thank you. (laughs) And we'll see you next week in the SU Bar at one o'clock for some more freshly brewed music. Thank you very much indeed. We've only got one more song to play before we have to leave you. Oh, this was our last single. It's called Devil. And it is available. It's not the last one ever. Oh, no, there'll be more. Yeah. Uh, But uh, it's available. You can see it on uh, Spotify and all the others. Check it out. Thank you so much. We've been the Wandering Hearts. We hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for having us. Thank you. We also have some T-shirts in a box. So (laughs) that'll be... You can call me the devil in disguise. I don't care. Call me anything you like. I can...
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.